Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with an unboxing that I'm really excited about. It's from one of my personal favorite diamond painting companies out there. This is a kit that I've been looking forward to since it was previewed or uh, teased a few months back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. This really pretty ombre packaging is from Distracted by Diamonds, which is the sister shop of Patty Wax. They're both under the same umbrella on Etsy. I wanna say the shop itself is actually just called Patty Wax, so be sure to look it up by that name even if you're wanting to see the diamond paintings. So, um, you guys, I am so excited for this kit. Okay, it got a little bit squished in shipping, but that is that is not a problem. Here's this pretty branding on the box. Again, matches the packaging with the purple and orange ombre. Smile, sparkle, repeat. Look at the sparkle. And you guys, what I have for you today. <gasps> It's Grey Pride Kitty. <laughs> yes, I love the pun so much. This is from Puffy Gator and is exclusive to Distracted by Diamonds. It is Pride Month and what better image to go with Pride Month than this piece that Puffy Gator created specifically for Distracted by Diamonds as a diamond painting. Oh my gosh, Robin and Ben, the owners over there, they previewed this image a while back and I feel like it was just on. I was stalking their, their Etsy shop every single day to be like, when is that image going to be stocked? And then once June hit and it's Pride Month, I'm thinking, uh, this seems like perfect timing. I bet it's gonna be sometime this month. And I couldn't believe when just a few days ago, there it was, they ship out pretty quickly. Their kits, especially kits like this one that are gonna have popular artwork and everything, they sell very, very quickly, especially when they first release. So I recommend checking the shop announcements for Patty Wax and Distracted by Diamonds. And, um, checking and seeing what days and times they restock converted to your time zone and all that, and be in their shop refreshing <laughs> like crazy uh, leading up to that restock time. Because like I said, especially these newer kits are gonna sell out super, super quickly. So there was a loose diamond painting pen in the box. It looks like everything else is packaged in here. I am so looking forward to this kit. I love, love, love the line of puffy gator kitties that have been designed for distract Ooh, that was loud that have been designed for distracted by diamonds and i've completed a few of them i'll link to the unboxings and post reviews below in case you're curious i love how they turn out distracted by diamonds quality all around is some of my favorite it is such good quality i'm like drawing this out for a little bit because i <laughs> I'm, I'm building the anticipation for myself and for you guys, but I just know that this is gonna be absolutely amazing. So here we go. Oh my gosh, all of the different pride flag colors. And there's our gray kitty. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm in love, I'm in love, he's perfect. He, she, them, you know what, it is Pride Month. We are gonna be as inclusive as possible. I'm not going to try to gender our kitty friend here. He, he or she or they can be whatever you want them to be. So uh, here is a tray with a lid and a plate of pink heart wax and some washi tape that you can use with your project. I like to use washi tape to uh, cover up the border of my canvas. Sorry, it was a little blurry there. Uh, because sometimes there's a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field and uh, covering it with washi tape means that I'm not gonna get dirt or dust in there. Uh, so that's what I use washi tape for. <laughs> we have our rainbow bag of diamonds here that we will take a look at here in just a bit. Uh, but over here also included, there's a little bit of release paper, I think. And then our giant sticker slash info sheet. So. Here is that beautiful original artwork and Distracted by Diamonds branding. Here is a note about the title, the artist, and it is licensed. So Distracted by Diamonds both has permission and is fairly compensating Puffigator for the use of this artwork as a diamond painting. Here is a note about their mission, which is one of the many reasons that I adore Distracted by Diamonds. They value diversity, inclusivity, and the rights of the artist. 
Purchasing artwork is expensive, but knowing that our paintings are legal and ethical is priceless. We believe that you feel the same way. And it is true. They are always striving to do things above board. And they are striving, as it says here, striving to bring us fresh new art, as well as exposing you to the world of old masters classics. So you can pause and read if you like, but Robin and Ben are the owners over there. They are um, really fantastic on customer service and putting out a really high quality product. So. Over here is a set of pre-cut stickers uh, with all of the diamonds that we're gonna need for this kit. It looks like we're gonna have 50 colors. And as I was looking, we're gonna have one, two, and three AB diamonds with this kit. I'll be talking more about what AB diamonds are when we're actually looking at them together here in just a bit, but I do see a couple of symbols that we're going to take a look at on the canvas. They use a lot of the same symbols from kit to kit, so I kind of know what to look for at this point. But there's a few like this uh, black spade on a red background and this black teardrop on a red background. We're going to check and make sure that those are printed clearly enough. We're not going to mix them up. We have a few like this black pointing down triangle, this um, black kind of circle with a slash through it. Uh, the, some of these symbols I think can sometimes look similar on a canvas. So we're gonna take a look together just to see how they look on the canvas. But I do appreciate that they include this pre-cut sticker sheet for us because it makes kidding up go a little bit faster. So I can't quite fit him all the way in frame, but isn't he so dapper? I love it. Let's do a really quick measurement and see if we're looking true to size. Usually distracted by diamonds, canvases are, but I always like to double check. You guys know me. I'm also gonna, after I do this, I'm gonna roll this backwards to help the ends lay a little bit more flat, a little bit more quickly. So we're at exactly 90 centimeters, top to bottom. And then we are at, 62 centimeters left to right on the nose. So let's take a look at the schematic up here at the top and see, and it is listed as 62 by 92 centimeters up here. So um, it may be a little bit off in the height, but that is really okay. <laughs> I'm still gonna consider it true to size. Uh, so Distracted by Diamonds, here's our branding at the top. Uh, the canvas material itself is really, really nice. It's a uh, it feels a little bit like a luxurious quality. Uh, it's a really high quality product. It's really a joy to diamond paint on and it holds the diamonds really nicely. You can see that it's laying flat on its own already. Um, it just is great to work on. Uh, you can see the edges are scalloped and finished, so you're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. I've never run into problems with fraying before. Uh, the glue is a high quality poured glue and uh, I've never had problems with diamonds falling off of my Distracted by Diamonds canvases. Um, I just have always really enjoyed working on them. <laughs> so like I mentioned, up here is uh, the measurements, the info about the kit. There's a thumbnail on the schematic. So here's all 50 colors, a legend here for us. We have that same legend and color list over here. By the way, the number in the right-hand column is the DMC which is the same color code that they use for some kinds of floss with cross stitching. Here at the bottom is the title of the artwork, Gray Pride Kitty by Puppy Gator. Copyright Distracted by Diamonds 2022. So let's take a look at the different areas of the drill field. I wanna take a look for those symbols that I was a little nervous about. So right off the bat, I have to say that I'm very happy to see, here is that, uh, teardrop and the spade right next to each other they look very different to me because that teardrop is on more of a pink background and the spade is on more of a red background um, we do have this is still a black symbol on a dark background so you want to make sure you're not mixing up with the spade um, the printing is super clear though you have a lot of symbols in here that are black symbols on a purple background. So there are different ones, they're printed clearly. But if you find yourself having any trouble reading these, I recommend using a light pad. Um, I personally, I don't look at this and think that I'll need one, but I don't generally use a light pad ever. Uh, that's just a personal thing, but I'm just pointing out that 
if you're having any trouble, I bet that you can make it a lot easier just by pulling out a light pad. So that's just one idea. Look at our cute kitty base. I love it. I love it. So I'm seeing a nice amount of color blocking and confetti. Color blocking is when you have sections like here that's a large area, all the same symbol. You'll be able to use a multi-placer through those areas and you'll have that color in your tray for a while. Uh, by contrast, we have areas like here that we might call confetti because there are more color changes in a smaller area. You'll be changing out that color in your tray more often and probably using a single placer. So I really enjoy a mix of both in my paintings. Look at our, look at our amazing pride flag. I love it. <laughs> Literal rainbow of colors and even different flag colors here in the banners. You guys, this kit is fantastic. Now I wanted to point out that I was actually reading the listing. It was after I had purchased the kit itself because I was just trying to check out as fast as possible. Uh, but I was reading the listing and saw that Robin had mentioned some suggested color swaps for enhancements. Uh, so I will try to pop that up here on the screen for you guys so you can see what those suggestions are. I actually did order those diamonds. Uh, from her shop because she sells enhancement diamonds like those. They're not in yet, but I was so excited to unbox this. I didn't want to wait. They'll probably be in tomorrow or the next day, but there were, I think, four of them in total. So I am um, putting those up there in case you want to buy them. She, Like I said, she sells all of them in the Distracted by Diamonds and Patty Wax shop. So that'll be fun. It'll be fun to enhance this kit. So let's take a look at these diamonds. So I have not had trouble, I'm gonna save the ABs for last. I have not had trouble with Distracted by Diamonds, diamonds before. I find them to be really high quality. I usually have plenty left over. Um, there's usually very little trash and they're usually really consistent in size and everything. So uh, if you look on the bags themselves, that number on the top is the DMC color code. The number on the bottom is the weight in ounces. So these have been done by weight. It is nice to see that they are pre-bagged. So if you like to just work out of baggies and not necessarily kit up into storage containers, you have that option. I always kit up into storage containers. Uh, but if you run into issues with static, which I know is a problem for me that is more common with pre-bagged drills for whatever reason, um, and I think is largely climate dependent, but like I said, I see it more with the Ziploc bagged drills like this, uh, you can just cut up a piece of dryer sheet into small squares, stuff it into the bag and kind of shake it and move it around. That will take care of the static for you. Whether you are kitting up into storage containers or um, planning to just work out of the baggies. Either way, uh, getting rid of the static will make it a lot easier to pour the diamonds in and out of the bags. I love these colors so much. I feel like 50 is a little bit on the higher side as far as number of colors go for Distracted by Diamonds. So I love that we have all those though because we have such a variety of colors in this kit. I mean, a rainbow. We have a few bags of this white color, I believe. Let me take a look. Yeah, we have three bags of this 3865. Probably because there's lots of it like in the background and stuff. But the quality does look nice on these diamonds. Like I mentioned, we do have three AB diamonds. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis and it's named after the Northern Lights. So just like the Northern Lights have an iridescent shimmer to them. AB diamonds have an iridescent coating on the top that makes these diamonds sparkle even more than regular diamonds do. The areas that they've been charted, it's gonna draw your eye to a little bit. It's going to highlight to those areas. And Distracted by Diamonds usually does a really nice job of charting AB. So we have three in this kit that are included with the kit. So we have this 602 AB, which is kind of a deep dark pink. <clears throat> We have a big bag of this 209 AB, which is a pretty almost lavender purple, a little darker. And then a 666 red AB, true red AB. Love those colors. Let me shift these diamonds. We're just gonna <laughs> pile them off to the side. I would love to take just a moment and find where these ABs are going to go. 
So we'll start at the bottom because I have a feeling they're gonna be kind of sprinkled throughout. So I'm gonna look at our legend and the symbols I'm looking for. That heart, that spade, the hourglass, and the letter P. So uh, right off the bat, that spade I had actually pointed out to you guys earlier. It's doing a little bit of highlighting down here around this flower. The letter P, I see a little sprinkling. Oh, you can't, we're not totally in frame, so sorry. So that red AB, the 666 AB is a little bit around here. A little bit of the purple in here and also highlighting at the ends of this paw on our kitty cat. A little bit of the purple AB right here as well. Some purple AB just really sparingly highlighting through here. And then I see, I see like one or two of the dark pink AB right here. It's all throughout you guys. <laughs> uh, as we keep shifting up, I wanna make sure I'm not missing anything. Here's a bunch of the deeper pink AB over here in this flower, a little bit in this flower, and then over here in the middle of this wave of light going up here. And then we have a little bit of the purple AB highlighting the tip of this flower. We have the red AB outlining the red part of the handkerchief that our kitty friend is wearing. So cute. The rainbow handkerchief, I love it. Uh, some purple AB lightly sprinkled through the kitty. And in the kitty's face, there's a little bit of the purple AB here in his mouth, a little bit around his nose a little bit on the sides of his face is that deeper purple, that deep purple AB, kind of deep light purple, I suppose. <laughs> uh, some of the darker pink AB over here. And then, just wanna make sure I'm not missing any. We're shifting up more and more. Yeah, the kitty's face, there's some purple around his ears. Outlining right there. And then let's see, a good part of this red part of the flag is a red AB. A little bit of the purple AB right here in the purple of the flag, as well as kind of on the underside where the flag is flipping up, there's some of the purple AB. And let's see, uh, some of the dark pink AB is here in the heart as well as a little bit of outlining right here. Is that, yep, the, the red AB is highlighting along the top of the flag right here. And, okay, not right there. And then, I see a sprinkling of the occasional purple AB I'm doing a little bit around the outlining. There's not tons of it. It's just kind of like sprinkled, <laughs> spritzed throughout some of the parts of these pennants on this banner, as well as a little bit on the underside. Oh, actually a lot here on the underside of the cat's tail, as well as doing some highlighting of the feathering on the cat's tail. And then finally, I did see some of the dark pink AB is the outline of this banner over here. So it's a really similar effect to what I've seen in past Puffy Gator canvases. The AB placement is just kind of distributed nicely throughout so that you're really gonna get an overall shimmery effect. I'm really looking forward to getting in the sparkly or their sparklers or crystal drills. Um, I'm looking forward to getting those in and swapping those in because like, like Robin said in the description for this canvas, what better canvas to bling out even more than a Pride Kitty canvas. So I will be sure to share my progress on this kit when I work on it in Whippin' Chats. And of course there will be a post review so you can see what those swaps look like. I'm really, really looking forward uh, to sharing those as well. I'm sorry that I didn't have them for this unboxing video, but like I said, I was just too excited to get into this. I did not want to wait, uh, but I will 
include a link to this listing so that you can see what those suggested swaps are. Um, thank you, Robin, for providing those for us as well. But you guys, this was the great, what was it? Gray Pride Kitty from Puppy Gator and Distracted by Diamonds. It is still currently being stocked. And I think that she bought a lot because she knew this kit would be very popular. So I've seen her stocking it multiple times a day, even sometimes in the middle of the day in between the official listed restock times. So I strongly recommend checking back regularly, especially at restock times, and it will sell very quickly. I recommend if you have a mobile device like an iPhone, uh, you can set up Apple Pay or Google Pay, and you should be able to basically one-click buy from the listing page and purchase it pretty quickly. But like I said, she's been stocking them often and in high enough quantities that probably just a regular checkout process would work as well. But don't be discouraged if you go and check the shop and it's not in stock when you happen to check in just like I said read those shop announcements you'll see what the designated restock dates and times are right there and be sure to check back and patience is key here they are a small business they only list as much as they can turn around and ship out in a reasonable time frame uh, which is one of the things I really appreciate about appreciate about them. They have fantastic customer service. So um, I, like I said, I really, really appreciate that they aren't overwhelming themselves and over promising, but they are providing a really incredible product and lots of amazing artwork and a really high quality kit for us to work with. So thank you so much to Robin and Ben for bringing this kit to the diamond painting community, you guys. I think it looks amazing and cannot recommend highly enough that you go out and try to get your hands on this one. So, and it doesn't have to be Pride Month when you work on it. I think you can work on this any time of the year. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever. I would be more than happy to help, but that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and fun. If it was, would you mind giving this video a thumbs up before you head on out? And of course, if you're not already subscribed and want to follow my progress on this project when I do start it, which I'm not totally sure when that'll be yet, but soon, um, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you. All right, friends, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.